you know, there was like an open opportunity that kind of like got you like a lot of views uh, too. And it wasn't actually one of your videos, but it was actually a blogger by the name of like Charlie Bo Free One Free. And how was it like, you know, interacting with him? Like we already saw the video. Mm -hmm. I'll probably like link it somewhere. But like, how was it like, you know, meeting him and interviewing you and Andre? And for people who don't know more about him in person, like what's he like? What's he like? Yo, um, I also want to say too, I know there's a question to go, but I want to just say it super, super quick. One of the downsides, I've had people also talk ish about me busking, by the way. <laughs> like, I actually, yeah, I want to put that out there. I'm not mad. I ain't mad at you. Like, too far. Yeah. It's cool. Keep it moving, pimping. Yeah, but uh, to keep it 100, I had people talk ish about me busking, but it's led me, uh, another thing outside of you getting experience, it's led me to opportunities yeah, like man. earlier this year. I got booked for CBC interview, like radio. I have yet to publish it, yeah. but because of busking. And then obviously more other stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then Charlie Bo. The question now is like, I met him because I was with Andre outside Bloor and Austin. Yeah. Performing for like three hours. Yeah. And here's the thing with Charlie. Cool story. So he walked past us. I didn't know who he was. Like no no disrespect because right. he's my homie now. All right. <laughs> but at the time, I didn't know who he was. All right. Like, he just looked like a regular civilian walking past us. All right. And I guess, like, for the description, is he, like, a tall black man, short black man, or what's his, like, shade and all that type of stuff? I will say he's, like, he's average height. You know, average just height? probably just, like, probably, I'm, like, I'm, I'm six, six, like, six old, like, like, I, I, L and I. All right. He's, yeah, I would say he's, like, 5'10", from what I remember, like, it was 2019. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't have, yeah. like, a T2 Terminator forensic, me- like, I do, but, like, yeah. not for that. I don't remember who his exact height is. But and, from what I remember, yes. But like dark skin, light skin, like I know, like he might have had the accent too, Detroit accent. So oh no, he's dark skin. No, he's a, he's a, he's a brother. <laughs> so, yeah, he's a he's a so yeah. cold brother. <laughs> yeah, because you don't really see his like face like that or his body. It's just him putting the cameras and all and all that t- type of stuff too, and him panning the camera to the people like speaking. You know, so yeah, no, he uh, he kind of reminds me of Isaac Hayes. Oh, a little true. bit, a bit. And from what I remember, it's like Isaac Hayes, you know what I'm saying? Um, you remember, I don't know if you remember that scene in um, Fresh Prince um, where they're playing on the stage. Anyway, anyway, totally random. But yeah, no, he has he has that type of impression. Um, but yo, I was just saying like, when we met him, we didn't know who he was. Yeah. Like, and then me and Andre were going back and forth. Andre at that time, he he won 2019 Beatbox champ, um, in Montreal. He was a champion. <laughs> so that also helped us with, People donated when he found out who he was. So he already had his own pocket. I had my pocket and I was building more of a pocket. And then me and him to, to him to combine was like literally a two-man slaughterhouse, a two-man Wu-Tang, yeah. Voltron, like yeah. Agilist, like we're like dynamic duel for yeah, real. Like exactly. with and then anyway, so but here's the thing: even with us, another thing too, I don't think is a downside, is just a conscious reminder. I'll put yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Like he walked past us, right? He looked like he was mad or cheese or whatever. Like this off of snap judgment. I don't know, but I didn't react. So he walked past us. He looked like he was mad or angry. I'm like, okay, whatever. There's like a bunch of people. And he just walked past. I'm just, okay, he's like a civilian. I'm not going to assume and get mad. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's something I see some people do. Like, y'all y'all got to yeah. stop that, man. You got to stop that. You don't know what people, people are humans, bro. Yeah. Anyway, he went, came back. Then he ended up telling us. <laughs> And see, this is what patience is a virtue. Yeah. He told us, like, yo, dog, like, um, you guys are incredible, by the way. But he's like, yo, I had a headache. Like, I had to go to McDonald's, and McDonald's was right there to, to pop Tylenol or whatever. He had to, you know, deal with his headache. And he, but he's like, he had, he felt compelled. That's what the whole point is. He can't, he felt compelled to come back and tell us that. And on top of that, he's like, yo, you guys mind if uh, we, like, I film you and interview you? Yeah, man. And here's the thing. What do you think me and Andre did? We're like, yeah, like, I didn't know who he was. I'm just like, you don't ever know who's who. So I'm like, and plus I'm just, is this fun? Like, why not? And plus like we're on our break. (laughs) Like we're rapping slash beatboxing for like two, three hours or four. I can't remember around that time. And we're like, yo, it's our break now. It's like, okay, let's interview. This is dope. Boom. Fast forward. (laughs) That's that instance, accepting that experience. Look, that that experience turned into like, last time I checked, it was like 1.5 million. That the video with me and Andre. So there's three versions. There's one with the freestyle, which is still on YouTube. The, 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 there's the other one with the full interview. Yeah. And then there's the other one that... It's like Toronto, you know, you're going to the hoods and all that. The yeah. Toronto hood. And it's funny because even last night, before I went to my other gig, I had this other... I'm not gosh, 
she knows who you know who you are, but she's she's bad. You know what I'm saying? She's pretty, pretty good. But well, anyway, she was with her fiance and oh, she might see this. <laughs> I mean, in a respectable way, just in case, you know, wherever this travels to, you know. Um, but anyway, yeah, she came to me and, or, and she mentioned that she re- she rec- recognized me like and um, because of the video, the same Charlie Bo, like no cap. And I was like, wait, yeah, it was me and um, uh, Andre. Um, and she didn't know who Andre was until I mentioned like right off rip. But just the whole point is it's like now like people know me yeah, exactly. outside of even just rapping, which to me is amazing. You know what I mean? Like all this stuff is like a dream to the eight-year-old kid in me. Yeah. So exactly, man. Yeah. 